When you look at the game of nine ball and you look at the amateurs and then you look at the professionals, one thing that separates them both is cue ball positioning. What is that? It's as simple as putting your ball and getting onto your next ball. The top professionals in the world are very good at that. The amateurs, not so good. But it doesn't matter how good you are. We all make mistakes. We all make positional errors. That is the beauty of nine ball. That's why we love playing it. And that's why we love watching it even more. So I want you to take a look at this match. One of the biggest matches the World Nine Ball Tour has ever seen. This was built up to be Messi versus Ronaldo. And it did not disappoint. Fedor Gorse led 4-1. Then Filler went 8-5 up. Then Fedor did what he did his best. He stuck in there and he went 9-8 up. It was a race to 10. This is the situation Fedor was faced with. In practice, no professional alive would not clear the table. It's as simple as that. This is just a routine clearance. You're on the six ball, the seven's up top of the table, and here is the nine. So, what went wrong? Well, the fact that it was a major tournament, obviously Fedor is desperate to beat Filler as well in that arena. He wants to win his first singles event in a matchroom arena now for the pool fans watching around the world until you've done that it's not easy it's a different vibe we have adverts after every three racks the tv cameras are mooching around in the corners you do a walk on the crowd are there so it is a little bit different but listen Fedor Gorst will win tournaments in that arena he is far too good not to but what have we seen here so a couple of ways First way, Fedor decided to pot it and come up here for the seven. Now, slight issue with that is after potting the six ball, so let me just show you, you could pot the six, cue ball comes a little shy of pace and it lands there. You're leaving a little funny angle there because having have potting the seven, cue ball's coming off here down towards the nine. So, when we look back at the shot, just put it roughly there, the seven ball is on the left side of this centre line. So Fedor decides to come across the line. Now, this can only go wrong if you under it, it over it, it, or at times land a little bit funny. So if the cue ball was to land here, like so, he's got to top it forward off this weird little angle because drawing back, you might scratch in the middle. Now, me, like probably everyone else watching, thought this match was over. But, how about this for a shot? Was there a case for flicking up that side of the table? Why, you ask? Well, because even though you're leaving a more difficult pot, the beauty of playing it this way is you're only potting the ball. And watch this, once I've potted the ball, look at the cue ball, comes down towards the nine. Anywhere there, even here, you've got a shot at the nine. I know what Fedor were thinking, leave myself an easier pot on the seven, but that sacrifice position. He actually didn't land too bad on the seven, but I want to show you something on the seven ball as well. So he had a nice angle on this ball, but this, is where the previous shot he played, for me, he played the same shot. He stunned this in quite hard because he did have an angle. So upon stunning it off the side rail, you can see the cue ball comes along the line of the nine and obviously leaves it on the side rail and leaves a very, very missable nine ball. So the nine ball's on that side of the table, for me, this is a, a by far smarter decision shot. Just play a little stun shot. You're gonna sacrifice a bit more of a difficult nine. Mm -hmm. 
Fellow Ghost has got this nine ball. This is a nine ball where, yeah, you're not straight, but this is a nine ball we play nearly every, every single day in the game of pool. So you can either swing the nine ball two, three rails, or you can play a high ball and just go two rails, maybe a third rail. I think the shot on the sixth ball, he missed the trick because he come across the face of it, but then he did the same thing on the seven. He come across the face. Just like what we're saying on the sixth ball, you can go too far. He did exactly that on the seven ball. Two shots, I think, where he missed the trick. Little fine margins like that. How much just watching this video might think, hmm, I'm talking nonsense. But it proves it. When you start coming across the line on a TV table that's super quick, under intense pressure, this is not practice or playing your buddy down the local, this is high pressure. So it's very easy to lose your cue ball. I just think, come down here and just swing at it. Just like so. There are a couple of perfect examples when you're playing position on your next ball and you come across the line of the potted angle, it's very easy to under hit the ball or over hit the ball, leave yourself a tough shot and you end up missing. But the brain does funny things in high pressure situations. Obviously it's very tough out there in practice. You don't think about anything. Even if you miss a ball when you're practicing, you just carry on playing but things build up in high pressure matches guys if you've enjoyed this video don't forget to smash the subscribe button and hit the like i'll see you in the next one p.s i love you fellow <laughs>